We've been discussing the sad attack on the Saudi Arabian oil refinery and how it's affecting gas prices. But my big question is, what was the nature of the attack? These strange photographs seem to show an extremely accurate targeting, possibly coming now, we've learned, from a northerly direction. These uh, holes in these oil tanks are very precise and they're all roughly the same measurement on the tank. That kind of precision wasn't a conventional weapon. Now, a number of things have happened overnight, and I thought I would do a bit of an update. First of all, thank you all for comments. I get lots of people who know a lot more than I do. And the two things that people have said are about weapons are one I should look at this system called JDAM and at the end of this video I'm going to play in length a Chinese demonstration of their variety of JDAM weapons just watch it and look at the accuracy it's staggering and chilling so the Iranian authorities have released this this is one of their military officials showing off the drones that attacked the refinery. I just want to make a small point. So I watched this video carefully. It's not in English, and um, but it's very interesting to see the kind of weapons. But if you look at their displays, all on nice white mattresses in this uh, press center, they're not all from that refinery attack. There's dates on them and they, there are drones that they've picked up in the desert or have been fired at Saudi Arabia over years. There's one or two that have the date of the refinery attack, but lots of them weren't. So uh, what are they trying to prove here? I don't know. And just a final point. This channel has some very, very smart viewers and contributors. One of them, who regularly makes amazing comments. I'd, by the way, I'd really like to meet you one day. You will know who you are when I describe your comment. Drones have to be targeted. And again, if you look at these pictures of the damage of the oil tanks, it's incredibly accurate. The point he smartly made is what type of GPS system are they using? Because to get that level of accuracy the American GPS, which is a mil military uh, control system, degrades it for everybody that isn't an American ally down to about, say, 10 meters. There's various augmentation systems that people like us pilots can use, but you can't fly a drone through somebody's window using the GPS system. What system did they use? I'm sure you know. Please tell us and I'll tell the world because the truth is out there.